Everyone knows what a German Shepherd is, but have you ever seen a Dutch Shepherd? How about a Black Russian Terrier? Or the extremely rare Red Lab? Hi there, thank you for visiting Biscuit and Friends. This video is all about introducing you to three uncommon but awesome dog breeds that you may have never even heard of. The Dutch Shepherd, the Black Russian Terrier, and the Red Lab. Be sure to subscribe to Biscuit and Friends for more videos like this, and don't forget to stay tuned until the end. Let's get started. First up is the Dutch Shepherd. History. The Dutch Shepherd was originally a native herding dog found in remote areas of the Netherlands in Northern Europe. Primarily, these dogs worked hard to protect large flocks of sheep from predators, as well as to keep the sheep away from the valuable crops. They would also protect the home's gardens from hens and round up the cows for milking. In the 1900s, sheep farms became rare in the Netherlands and modern farming methods nearly eliminated the need for herding dogs. But Dutch Shepherds are smart and athletic and began to be trained for use as police dogs, search and rescue, or guide dogs. When World War II began, nearly all dog breeding stopped. Many Dutch Shepherds were abandoned and died from a lack of food during this difficult time, and many others were stolen by Germans for use in the German military. For these reasons, the breed very nearly became extinct around the 1940s and 50s. Thankfully, breeding began anew after the war was over. It is suspected that the bloodline changed somewhat during this time, however, as the Dutch Shepherds were sometimes bred with Belgian Malinois or Belgian Lacanois to help diversify the now small gene pool and increase breeding opportunities. The Dutch Shepherd was only added as a breed standard by the United Kennel Club in 1995. The American Kennel Club added the breed to the miscellaneous category in 2016. Appearance. Dutch Shepherds are similar in size and appearance to the German Shepherd, but are distinguishable largely by their coloring, which is known as brindle, brown with streaks of other colors. For the breed standard, too much black is considered undesirable, but a mostly black face or mask is preferred. White or silver coloring is very rare, as it was also considered an undesirable breeding trait and was mostly bred out. The coat of a Dutch Shepherd can be short, long, or rough. The first two are fairly self-explanatory, but the rough coat can best be described as woolly, dense, and tousled. Honestly, they look pretty scruffy. Personality. Dutch Shepherds are intelligent, agile, athletic, and hardworking. Even though they aren't used as herding dogs much anymore, they still retain this instinct and may try to herd other animals or children. They are highly skilled and sought after as police dogs, agility athletes, and personal protection animals. If you're considering adding a Dutch Shepherd to your home, you can expect him to be very protective of his family. You'll need to socialize him well and use appropriate caution to always supervise him with visitors, especially children. They will also need plenty of exercise, room to run, and lots of mental stimulation to stay out of mischief. With the appropriate training and environment, a Dutch Shepherd could be a great addition to your household. Next up, the gorgeous and huge Black Russian Terrier. History. The Black Russian Terrier was created by a state-owned kennel in Russia in the 1940s for use as a military working dog Despite the name, it is not actually a true terrier breed, but rather a combination of around 17 other breeds, including Rottweilers, Newfoundland Retrievers, Giant Schnauzers, and more. The breeding stock largely came from locations where the Red Army was active at that time, such as East Germany. The dogs were initially bred for size and strength and can weigh as much as 140 pounds. Because of this and their tolerance for cold temperatures, the dogs were often used for pulling carts with heavy items, patrolling the borders of military installations, and guarding prisoners at Stalin's many prison camps. In the 1950s, the dogs began to become available to civilians and civilian breeders, and more emphasis was put on appearance and temperament. 
The breed was added to the AKC in 2004, appropriately in the working dog category rather than the terrier group. Appearance. The most striking feature of the Black Russian Terrier is its size, and they have a huge brick-like head. They have a black, coarse top coat with a softer undercoat that must be brushed out to prevent matting. They are often groomed to have a long beard like a schnauzer. Personality. Black Russian Terriers are known for being calm like a Newfie, confident like a Roddy, and smart like a schnauzer. But despite the calm temperament, they are still working dogs with a strong work ethic and will not be appropriate for a first time dog owner. Black Russian Terriers need a job to be most happy, and if not properly trained, will guard their family and territory relentlessly. They need a confident and firm pack leader to provide guidance and instruction from an early age. With the right owner, the Black Russian Terrier can make a great family dog. Before we get to our third and final unusual dog breed today, let's take a few seconds to just enjoy some cute puppies. You're welcome. The final unusual dog breed we'll be learning about today is the Red Lab. History. Now you've certainly heard of the Yellow Lab, the Chocolate Lab, and the Black Lab. But what about the Red Lab? Well, technically, the Red Lab, also known as the Fox Red Lab, is simply a color variation of the much more common Yellow Lab. In fact, the AKC's official definition states that yellows may range in color from fox red to light cream, with variations in shading on the ears, back, and underparts of the dog. Even though they are both yellow labs, you can certainly see the difference in coloring when you see them side by side. Originally, yellow labs were actually more of a reddish color, but over time, breeders and customers began to prefer the lighter yellow or cream colored labs. The fox red pups were either not selected for breeding or sadly, were sometimes even culled at birth. Fortunately, this trend has changed over time and fox red labs have become more popular in recent years. Labrador retrievers actually originated from Newfoundland. No one is exactly sure how Labrador came to be associated with them, but the name stuck. They were traditionally fishermen and hunters dogs and were used to retrieve ducks. British nobles visiting Canada in the early 1800s spotted the dogs and brought them back to England. The breed was refined over time and was added to the AKC registry in 1917. They've been the most popular AKC registered dog in the US since 1991. Appearance. Fox Red Labs look just like other Labrador Retrievers, with the exception of their red coloring. They have short to medium coats, shed like crazy, and have a strong otter-like tail that can clear a coffee table with one swipe. They are medium to large in size, athletic, and typically have a friendly face and wagging tail. Some concerns have been expressed about the pedigree of labs with unusual coloring with some people accusing breeders of diluting the bloodlines of black labs with Weimaraners to create silver labs. It's important to note that fox red labs are recognized by the AKC and are still a purebred lab, but due to their rarity, they are typically more expensive and harder to find than the traditional yellow lab. Personality. Again, since the only difference between a red and yellow lab is the shade of their coat, the temperament of a red fox lab is just as goofy, bubbly, and friendly as that of a yellow lab. Red labs tend to be wonderful family dogs that love just about everyone. They'll happily chase a ball or stick, most love to swim, and they can be trained to be excellent hunting dogs. That completes our list of unusual dog breeds for now. Did you learn something new? Let us know in the comments below. 
and be sure to subscribe to Biscuit and Friends for more great videos about our wonderful furry friends. See you next time.